Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. Season 3, episode 10 of Game of Thrones. We've made Igly wait a little bit longer than he probably would have liked since the last episode, which wasn't intentional. I got sick, so we haven't recorded. Uh, we usually record Game of Thrones earlier in the week. Uh, we haven't recorded now for two weeks, so Igly has had plenty of time to simmer over the... One of the biggest, I don't, plot twists in the entire show. And honestly, all of media. Yeah. Like, the Red Wedding is a traumatic event. It's spoken very, very highly of across the lands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to let you kind of dig through your thoughts. And Corey and I are going to listen because... I'm I'm curious to see what you've come up with in the last two weeks. Yeah, 16 days, actually, not 14, not two weeks. Okay. Um, but yeah, who's counting? Uh, yeah, uh, I was previously wearing red before this for another recording session. I, I, I switched to black because I'm still mourning. Um, <laughs> no, 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 nothing is good. Nothing will ever be good again. Uh, all hope is lost for now. Uh, yeah. Everything I was looking forward to has been crushed. Uh potential the theoretical hopes of a reunion between all the Stark children uh can no longer happen. Cat will never see her kids again. She Cat, died not knowing the fate. Yeah, she's dead. Um not knowing the fate of pretty much all her kids instead of Except Rob. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, the reunion between Rob and Theon will never happen. Uh, so whatever... Whatever potential road of atonement, atonement uh, Theon follows, because we did kind of see glimpses of that, it will, he'll never have, I guess, a face. He'll never see his brother. I mean, granted, he still has other. I mean, John. The, the, the other the other Stark children are very much alive, just not Ro not Rob anymore. But I presumably it seemed like Theon and Rob were very close, very close. Uh I guess I don't really know how close he was to the rest of the Stark children, but I said I think Rob was maybe different. Um, but yeah. Uh, I have had feverish visions of the show on multiple occasions. Me too, bro. Uh, they are not <laughs> in the past two weeks. Um, they are not potential. <laughs> they they are not visions of stuff that will happen. They're just completely absurd, like hallucinations. I somehow like that just that have, that stumbled into onto me while sleeping. Um, somehow I've, in, in, my, in my visions, I've seen, I've seen, this is so, this is so stupid. I had a dream and in the dream, Rakan killed, uh, Mira. What? I don't, I don't really know how to explain <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. And then he like, then he ate a walnut in the, in the dream. I mean, that, that's in character. <laughs> I don't know how to explain the rest. Um. I'm getting a headache just thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is what happens and after the red wedding. Weeks. You never really know what's going to happen in the show. Um, I had a dream that I dreamt another scene involving Danny in the in the desert, unearthing some ruins. And then I like in later on in the dream. We watched the episode in the dream, and I was like, "Hey, gu guys, I I dreamt this." I don't. So like, we have like we have like two layers of like just insanity at this point. I don't know what to make of it. Um, but I am not I am not well. I am hurt, and my mind does not know how to process it. I. <sighs> yeah. Um. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. Uh. I don't know what happens in the show going forward. 
But one thing is that Mercer? Is that his name? Mercer Frey? Walder? Walder, Walder Frey. Frey. What am I thinking of Mercer Frey? What is that? Is that Skyrim? I don't know. Walder Frey uh, needs to die. Um, And even that, that doesn't fix anything. But he he needs to not be alive anymore. Uh, but yeah, season finale. I I that's I have nothing I have nothing further to add. Nothing further. No more <laughs> No more feverish dreams. No, it was just those two. Just those two, okay. Those two. I mean, did you is that is that not enough? Like what I, I guess I can only do so much. Like, come on now. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get into the season finale, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when our Game of Thrones uploads go live. We have full length reactions for this and everything else on the channel, as well as up to four weeks early access available right now on Game of Thrones on our Patreon. Link in the description below. There's also a link to join our free Discord. Links are to our social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Check all those out. Let's get into episode 10. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I actually have something I want to add. This is, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, so. For reference, tomorrow, tomorrow the episode should go up on the previous episode should go up on early access. And on the comments for the episode eight early access, some guy said, Can't wait for the next episode. You people are sick. <laughs> Just you you all been waiting months for this one for that one episode. I cannot uh, believe it. Can't wait hilarious. for the next episode. Oh my god. I mean, me and Blake were doing the same thing. We just weren't telling you that we were Yeah. Waiting for that moment you enjoy since the beginning. Literally, season one, episode one, we are waiting for uh, the red wedding to break mm-hmm. you. Yep. I hate it. But we must continue on. Well, now let's get into the episode. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Is that Bolton? Yeah. yeah piece of shit oh my god the entire army man stop drop and roll buddy oh <laughs> man lynching oh how's he gonna get out of this carry their banner king in the north are they parading his body And the wolf? Oh, the wolf on the headless body? This Disgusting. They all need to die. And Arya had to see that. Not the first time. It's weird it happened twice. Yeah, each, each season a Stark child is gonna die cool. Or a Stark relative. Doing? I have a list. A list of people you mean to kill? No, death seems a bit extreme. Fear of death, on the other hand. You should learn to ignore them. You're a Lannister. I am the disgraced daughter of the traitor. Man, wait star. till she finds out. The disgraced daughter and the demon monkey. Wait till everyone finds out. <laughs> so, how should we punish them? Who? Whom? Sir Eldrick Sarsfield and Lord Desmond Crakel. We could sheepshift Lord Desmond's bed. You cut a little hole in his mattress and you stuff sheep dung inside. Then you sew up the hole and make his bed again. Okay. He will stink, but he won't know where it's coming from. Dude, she, she's, she's kind of cooking. My sister used to do that when she was angry with me. Why sheep shift? That's the vulgar word for dung. Sheep shit. <laughs> my lord, Patrick. my lady, your father he has fans. Meeting of the small council. <laughs> oh, he's included too this time? Show him. Oh, man. Messenger Raven. Oops. Hi, so. Roslyn caught a fine fat trout. Her brothers gave her a pair of wolf pelts for her wedding. Signed, Walder Frey. Man. Rob Stark is dead. And his bitch mother. 
Okay. Right back to Lord Frey. Thank him for his service and command him to send Rob Stark's head. I'm going to serve it to Sansa at my wedding feast. Your Grace. Joffrey did not mean it. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm going to have it served to Sansa at my wedding feast. No. Jesus Christ, man. She is no longer yours to torment. Everyone is mine to torment. You do well to remember that, you little monster. Oh, I'm a monster. Look at him. Perhaps you should speak to me more softly then. Monsters are dangerous, yes. and just now kings are dying like flies. Ooh. <laughs> Not smiling anymore, huh? <laughs> I could have your tongue out for saying that. Unacceptable, disrespectful, and in very bad taste. I, I sell a mediator. Oh, he's a glazer. I will punish you. <laughs> Any man who must say I am the king is no true king. Oh, mm. I'll make sure you understand that when I've won your war for you. Damn. My father won the real war. He killed Prince Rhaegar. He took the crown while you hid on a costly rock. Okay. The king is tired. See him to his chambers. Come along. I'm not tired. Just a little cranky. I give him a glass of milk. You just sent the most powerful man in Westeros to bed without his supper. <laughs> You're a fool if you believe he's the most powerful man in Westeros. Walder Frey gets all the credit. All the blame, I suppose, depending on your allegiance. Walder Frey is many things, but a brave man... No, he never would have risked such an action. If he didn't have certain assurances. Which he got from me. True, okay. Do you disapprove? Oh, man. For cheating. This is war. That's all orchestrated. Them at a wedding, explain to me why it is more noble to kill 10,000 men in battle than a dozen at dinner. The Northerners will never forget. Good. Let them remember what happens when they march on the south. When have you ever done something that wasn't in your interest, but solely for the benefit of the family? The day that you were born. Okay. I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Wow. Instead, I let you live, and I brought you up as my son because you're a Lannister. Terrible. Yep. El Dad. Stop them from making another kid. Sunset. She knows. Man. It's empty. Let's find a place to sleep. Shot for Rickon. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be hiding in the bushes. Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> heard about the rat cook the yeah. rat cook who's he just a cook in the night's watch the cook killed the king's son cooked him into a big pie with onions carrots mushrooms and bacon okay that night he served the pie to the king who liked the taste of his son so much he asked for a second slice jesus the gods turned the cook into a giant white rat could only eat his own young. He's been roaming the night fort ever since, devouring his own babies. Okay. No matter what he does, <laughs> he's always hungry. He killed a guest beneath his roof. The true sin. Something the gods can't forgive. Is that? Yep. Yeah. Ties into Walder Frey. The late Walder Frey. Oh, Turn him into a rat. I, didn't get my I mean, he already is a rat. For battle. Yeah. I thought he was witty. The blackfish escaped. An old man on the run with no allies. Mm. I have Tywin Lannister backing me. Who does he have? As you say. They all laughed the North. at me. All those high lords. They all thought they were better than me. They're better than you. Ned Stark. Hoster Tully. You'll be needing a new young girl. Yeah. Well, that to look forward to. <laughs> and you. His acting is great. I'm good with that. Yeah. Here's to the young wolf. Oh, forever young. You can choke <laughs> on your wine. 
Will Sorry, you move to Winterfell now that the war's over? At some point, perhaps. But Winterfell's in ruins. Yeah. What happened up there? I heard the Greyjoy boy seize the place. I sent my bastard Ramsay to root him out. Rob Stark offered amnesty for the Ironborn if they gave us Theon. The Ironborn turned on Theon, as we knew they would. They handed him over, trussed and hooded. Mm. But Ramsay... Ramsay has his own way of doing things. He's a freak, yo. Did you... Did all that connect? Yeah. Yeah. Is he... Wait, I know this! He's gonna shake the sausage! Pork sausage? You think I'm some sort of savage? Okay. When people talk about phantom limbs, an amputee might have a niche where his foot used to be. So I've always wondered... <laughs> do eunuchs have a phantom cock? Next time you think about naked girls, would you feel an itch? I did not know the context of this <laughs> gift, dude. Holy yeah, shit. You sent it to me like months ago. And I told Blake he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry for Theon's cock, man. Kill me! You're no good to me, dead. We need you. For what exactly? You don't look like a Theon Greyjoy anymore. That's the name for the Lord. You're just. Meat. Stinking meat. You reek. Reek! That's a good name for you. What's your name? Theon Greyjoy. Man. Come on. What's your name? Theon Greyjoy. I respect the defiance. Mm hmm. Don't let him break you. The wrecking. Oh my God. <laughs> this is just Samuel. Oh my God. Oh my. Who are you? Sam! Sam! Who are you? Gilly. Don't hurt us. <laughs> Where are you going? That's hilarious. Yep. I'm a brother of the Night's Watch. My brother, he's in the night. Shush. Who's your brother? Doesn't matter. It matters. It, it, it definitely matters. You should know. You're John's brother. Let's go. The one who fell from the window. No, I'm not. I've been you can trust him. Close enough to know a direwolf and a sea one, and I've heard all about Hodor. Yo, <laughs> he has a reputation. <laughs> I'd be dead if it wasn't for John. If you're his brother, you're my brother too, and anything I can do to help you, I will. Take us north of the wall. <laughs> well, except that they just came from there. What? <laughs> Why in the world would you I want don't to go? want to. I have to. If John is alive, then Castle Black's where he'll be. It's the safest place for you. There's nowhere safe any longer. You know that. What I know is what I saw. And if you saw it too, you'd run the other way. You saw the White Walkers and the Army of the Dead. <laughs> I know that. The Night's Watch mm. can't stop them. The Kings of Westeros and all their armies can't stop them. But you're going to stop them. <laughs> Please, sir. Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands and Invader of the North. I give you until the full moon to order all ironborn scum out of the north and back to those shit stained rocks. Oh my god. On the first night of the full moon, I will hunt down every islander still in our land. Oh, what is that? And flay them living. I think that was their sigil, the sweet. Yeah. Found at What's in it? In the box, you'll find a special gift. Oh, no. <laughs> Theon's favorite toy. He cried when I took it away from him. Are they going to show it? Show it. Man. Leave the north now, or more boxes will follow with more Theon. 
signed Ramsay Snow, natural born son of Roose Bolton, Lord of the Dreadfort, and Warden of the North. Okay. Get that out of my sight. <laughs> Theon disobeyed my orders. The boy's a fool. Okay. He cannot further the Greyjoy line. I will not give up the lands I have seized, the strongholds I have taken. Get this away from me. He's your son. Son? Doesn't care about him. He's not a man anymore. He's your son. He's my brother. He's a Greyjoy. Watch yourself. I've made my decision. And I've made mine. You're gonna go after him? I'm going to pick the fastest ship in our fleet. Let's go. I'm going to choose the 50 best killers on the Iron Islands. That guy looks tough. <laughs> I'm going to go <laughs> the Narrow Sea. I'm going to march on the Dreadfort. Oh my god. I'm going to find my little brother. And I'm going to bring him home. Let's go, Yara. What is it? Dragonglass. We found them at the fist. What are they for? Killing white walkers. How do you know that? The walker came for my baby. And Sam. But no one's killed a white walker in thousands of years. I suppose someone had to be the first. Tank it, Hodor. <laughs> and the archer. Oh, nice. I wish you'd come with us. I wish I could. I really do. Man. The theme playing slowly. <laughs> That's cool. Every time a highborn asks my name, it's trouble. We're not really people to you, are we? Just a million different ways to get what you want. I'm not a highborn. She called you sir. I heard it. I was born on Flea Bottom, just like you. Sure you were. I live below the street of flower. How far below? How close to the Red Keep were you? The shit that poured from their privy pipes flowed down the side of Egon's Hill. Oh my god. And Tanner's Roll, and right in front of my front door. On Gin Alley. On the street of steel. With your armor and your knights. You lived in the fancy part of town. <laughs> got him smiling. If you mistrust fancy people so much, why were you in such a hurry to trust her? He wasn't thinking straight. You're me. Never been with a woman. Never talked to a woman, really. And then she comes at you. <laughs> Big words, no clothes. What would you have done? And she does know a way around a man's head. I'll give her that. <laughs> what does he mean by that? <laughs> so how'd you become a lord? Oh, that's a long story. Better not, then. I'm a bit busy. <laughs> Very dynamic. Many years ago, I helped King Stannis out with a difficult situation. He rewarded me with a lordship. And this. I didn't want to be a lord. I nearly didn't accept it. Why did you? I did it for my son. I wanted him to have a better life. Does he? He's dead. He's dead. How'd he die? Following me. When did you come to this strange country? When I was 13. You are only a child. I stopped being a child when I was nine. My mother made yeah. sure of that. You've been a good influence on our mutual friend, you know. He used to drink from sundown to sunup, visit three brothels a night, gamble away his father's money. Now it's just the drinking. And now I'm his wife's servant. She is a sweet young thing. None of this is her fault. I love that girl. I would kill for her. Do you think that makes it easier for me? No. It's definitely complicated. She's young and she's beautiful. If you let yourself believe that a foreign girl with no name could spend her life with the son of Tywin Lannister. I have a name. You have one name, as do I. Here, only the family name matters. What do you want from me, Lord Ferris? Yeah, what's he? What's his point of diamonds? Get on one of those ships, sail to Pentos or Lys or Mir, 
Why do you want me to leave? Tyrion Lannister is one of the few people alive who can make this country a better place. He has the mind for it, he has the will, he has the right last name, and you... You are a complication. I know you love him. And I know it's true love, not bought by gold and silver. I'm not asking you to leave him for money. I'm asking you to leave because your presence in the capital endangers him. Find a true home somewhere far from here while there's still time. Lord Ferris. He's a real one. If he wants me to leave, he can tell me himself. All right. He has he has a bit of a point, but nah. Tyrion needs her. Keep up. Okay. I don't think I can, my lord. He wants to know the secrets. It's not easy being drunk all the time. Everyone would do it if it were easy. <laughs> Leave. He's he's drinking up. Okay. Killed the mood. Yeah. Boys were hanging out. An unhappy wife is a wine merchant's best friend. She doesn't deserve this. Start trying to work out who deserves what, and before long, you'll spend the rest of your days weeping for each and every person in the world. There's nothing worse than a late blooming philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be facing your marriage to Sir Loris with the same philosophical spirit? I won't be marrying Sir Loris. I seem okay. to remember saying something similar about my own marriage. You're not me. You want to make things better for Sansa? Give her a child. So you can tell father it was you who finally talked me into it. So she can have some happiness in her life. You have children. How happy would you say you are? <laughs> Not very. But if it weren't for my children, I'd have thrown myself from the highest window in the Red Keep. They're the reason I'm alive. Even Joffrey. <laughs> Even Joffrey. Okay. It was all I had once. Before Marcella was born. He was such a jolly little fellow. Then he grew up. How long does it go on? Until we've dealt with all our enemies. Every time we deal with an enemy, we create two more. And I suppose it will go on for quite a long time. There's no end. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a cow in heat. Jesus. Right. The hardest thing was getting that wolf's head to stay on the body. You sewed it up. I did. The well, thing was so heavy it fell off the first time. Took the skin right with it. Jesus, what dude. What to do was hook the needle right under the collarbone. Give it a nice firm mooring. Do it. And... What do you want? Mind if I keep warm? F*** off. But I'm hungry. She's Does playing them. Fuck off means something different where you're from. I've got money. What kind of coin is that? It's worth a lot. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go. Watch out. <laughs> Man. She knew that. <laughs> it doesn't Where help. Did you get the knife? From you. <laughs> Is that the first man you've killed? No. The first man. Hmm. Next time you're going to do something like that. First one was first. a boy. I mean, the first one was kind of accidental. This one was just, you know, yeah, premeditated. Ooh. Ah, you gotta apologize. Promised her. Secret, you know I didn't have a choice. You always knew who I was. Okay, subtitles. I, <laughs> I have to go home now. Where's home? I know you won't hurt me. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Oh man. I do know some things. I know I love you. <laughs> No, you love me. I have to go home now. 
Nothing to go back to. Okay. <laughs> Chill. Oh my god. He doesn't need this. She three. Why is she cracked? <laughs> Got in, but why not go with him? Oh. I know how this must look. <laughs> Every man who joins the Night's Watch renounces all former titles, among other things. <laughs> among other things, huh? What is your name? Gilly. Ah, for the Gilly flower. Lovely. Yes, my... Maester. Master. Maester. <laughs> And He's trying. Child. She hasn't chosen a name yet. His name is Sam. Let's go. Do you remember the oath you swore <laughs> when you joined this order? He's not my child, Mr. Raymond. She's one of Craster's wives. He's like, that's I an entirely different problem. Word <laughs> I am the shield that guards the realms of men. The realms of men. It's no longer the that realm of men. As well as us. Oh. Killy, you and your son will be our guests for the time being. Nice. We certainly cannot send you back beyond the wall. Thank you, Maester. She got it right this time. I can cook and clean, and I Good. can- Fetch a quill and inkwell. You gotta send word down south. I hope your penmanship is better than your sword play. Miles better. We had 44 ravens at last count. Every one of them flies tonight. Just write shit's on every note. To his grace, King Stannis Baratheon, on the first nigget. Night. First night of the. He's doing his best. Why is the Regian night? <laughs> it's not his fault. I want to go to that. To all the lords and noble men of Westeros. <laughs> noble men. Noble men of Westeros. Proud of him. The night, night watch. He caught himself. Nice. Implores. What is it? Ah. Uh, the bell tolls. Why are they ringing the bells? By the door. No, what, what are they ring it for? Nothing good. Does she know? He said the Rob Stark is dead. Betrayed by his bannerman. I have faith and my faith has been rewarded. Okay. Your Grace, the world has so it's her fault. so far bent. Do you know how Aegon Targaryen conquered Westeros? On the back of his dragon, Balerion the Dread. <laughs> he had a smaller fleet than the kings he faced, and a smaller army, but he had three dragons, dragons of magic, Sir Davos. My enemies have made my kingdom bleed. I will not forget that. I will not forgive that. I will punish them with any arms at my disposal. You do not need to burn the boy, if what you say is true. A drop of his blood killed Rob Stark. And our king is still no closer to the Iron Throne. A great gift requires a great sacrifice. What are you suggesting? His name's Gendry. He's a good lad. A poor lad from Flea Bottom who happens to be your nephew. Angel and devil situation. What is the life of one bastard yeah. boy against a kingdom? Everything. The boy must die. Stannis is a fraud. Get him out of here. Right there, you're leaving. Don't stop. There's bread and water. Go slow with it. No onions. If you finish it off, <laughs> no matter how thirsty you get, don't drink though. Don't drink seawater. The gold cloaks are looking for me. They've been looking for me for 20 years. Do they know your face? No. I'd worry more about the red woman. <laughs> Fair. The other way. <laughs> oh man. That's you gonna be tough. Why are you doing this? Because it's right. And because I'm a slow learner. 
Sir Davos the goat. When you get the free bottom, have a bowl of brown for me. <laughs> oh my god. Told him about the bowls of brown. Or I guess he already knew. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't think you can see us. Welcome home. So push now. You home. Welcome back. Speaking of being home. Yeah. Out of the way. Do you know who you're talking to? Step aside, country boy. People working in. Okay. Man, she's gonna be pissed. Yeah. First one you come and see, huh? Your mercy saved the boy's life. Yeah. You feel good about that? I, I do. You saved one innocent. Mm -hmm. How many tens of thousands have you doomed? I, Stannis, of the House Baratheon, first in my name, rightful King of the Andals, and the first men sentenced you to die. I understand. But since you haven't yet unnamed me Hand of the King, it is my duty to advise you against it. Mm. You're gonna need me. Take him away. Well, I'm gonna need you. Oh. Read my that. King. When did you learn to read? <laughs> Athos taught me before he died so I could be of better service to you. Okay. What do you see? This war of five kings means nothing. The true war lies to the north, my king. Death marches on the wall. Only you can stop him. Okay. You can't stop him alone. I've made my decision. He's right. Mm. You need him. He has a part to play in the war to come. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna listen to her? Of course. Broad. You've been saved by that fire god you like. Look at the play. Lord of Light in oh. the background. I'm saying, bro. Igly's gonna believe you best, that's, you best that's understand. Just a sun. That is not the Lord of Light, that is just a sun. Uh, How do you know? Not the same not the same thing. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. The sun the sun is noble. What are we looking at here? Misa. Perhaps they didn't want to be conquered. You didn't conquer them. You liberated them. Preach. People learn to love their chains. Here we go. The episode title is Misa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people. I'm down. Dynaris Hagarian, Zavazersko and Kajiva Derve. No. Tyre Jelvazia and Got Daor, Jevite Bagon Daor. You already have it. Derve Jerry City Bilos Daor, Gemeli Meli City Bilos. Lomiri Ziri, Mesmagon Bestila, Tolvis Jevis. Misa! Misa! What does it mean? It is old Piscari, Khaleesi. It means mother. Wow. So you're right. These people would hurt me. Ooh, the theme creeping in. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's sweating. cool. Yeah. And I'm all teary eyed emotional right now. Really? Yeah. Oh. This is what she's been working towards. <laughs> oh, that's sick. 
Nice. I mean, that's huge, because, like, initially she looked concerned. She wasn't sure what the... what their reaction was gonna be. But for them to accept her like that, that's... that's huge. Yep. I could see why you wore the show why you got the chair, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> She's the goat, for real. I mean, honestly... If Starks are I, I did I say I did I say this in the last time? It's been two weeks. If the Starks are done, Targaryen's all the way. Like I'm probably like da Danny is like <laughs> the negative like is then it becomes the best choice. Um, so my mom's name in my phone has been Misa since I watched this episode in 2017. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. So that that word, every time I hear it, I'm like, ah yes, mother. Mm. that's really cool that's honestly one of the best season finales in the entire show yeah I mean it's it's, it's, it's a little bit of joy after what's yeah. happened it comes after like such a hard hitting episode 9 but it ties up everyone mm -hmm. and yeah what, what are uh, what are your thoughts Metal water. That's my first thought. Um, okay. This was a really good season. Yeah. It still it, mentally, it still feels like I'm on season two. I don't know why. I it kind of just hit me where like on we just finished season three. So like I mean we still are under halfway to go, but this was a really good season. Um, the best so far, honestly. It's gotten me like really worked up. It's been a while since I've been tied to a show like this yeah in a while it's, it's been it's been a while um it was only a matter of time um first things first stan is still a fraud <laughs> uh, uh I'll, I'll put i'll i mean i'll i'll give i'll give the the red woman credit i'll blame her for uh rob dying her fault jesus christ about bo bo both bo both her and, <laughs> and Walter you are Frey a certified hater guy. i i book me as a hater bro I'm like dude what I'm, more I'm do we have to prove to you that the lord of light is the way and you're sitting here blaming her for stuff that she's not even she's, she's, she's in the fire she she's making the claim she's making the claim yeah, but literally Davos, who you're on his side with her, was like, yeah. oh, you're really going to take credit because he threw a leech in the fire? I'm just saying, if she wants the credit, like, then, I mean, just, she, she wants oh, the credit. Oh, you'll just get, okay. Okay, she just, she just wants you're the so credit. intellectual. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're, um, you're such a powerful thinker. But, like, it's just, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I still can't get, get behind Stannis. He like, sentences Sir Davos to death, but immediately t like backpedals as soon as she says, oh, actually, we need him. Uh, right. He's it's, letting it's, her it's, completely it's, control him at this point. Like, mm -hmm. is he even the king or is he just a puppet? He's a puppet. He's a puppet. Uh, I mean, like, t t I don't to give her credit it all it seems like ultimately she has the best interest of the realm at heart um th but i i mean, i'm drawing a line at sacrificing gendry yeah let's can't do that big. can't can't do that um i can i I can see that she ultimately means well. Granted, I I just don't accept her methods. So, pretty much, like uh, like I I agree, like a hundred percent. I like I'm I'm riding with Sir Davos. Like he he is spitting. He is completely right. I understand the notion of using anything at your disposal to win the war, uh, to take control of the realm. And also, like, tying it to how Aegon had dragons, I decide. Fair point. Fair point. 
there might be similarities between her and dragons, but I no, it's not the same. Um. Anyway, what else? Because a lot, a lot happened this episode. Um, I hated the beginning. That was terrible. Yeah. Um, that was gruesome. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm. I'm glad. I feel bad. I feel so bad for Arya for having to see that. Um, and sh she makes her first kill not in self defense, but out just out of anger. And like, in, I mean, it's not it. Her doing that, it's not gonna make her feel good. She didn't no. feel any better after it. It's just giving her like I don't know, maybe some sense of control when like everything is spiraling out with her life. Um, but it, but that, but that like train of thought is a slippery, a slippery slope, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause she can fall down that path at a young age and, um, it's, 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 it's a dark path. Uh, she might take killing into like a new, a new light. Um, I don't know, as a way to like to, to funnel her frustrations. I don't know. What exa like, but like, it can go wrong. It, oh, like, of course, Walder Frey needs to die. Of course, <laughs> 100%. Um, the, the, the ones parading his body actually fair. They need to die too. Uh, I, they, 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 they kind of, they kind of deserved it. Granted, it's war. Um, but still, that's it's it's that's at, at at a base level for like a soldier. If you can't agree that like parading the enemy's body around after death is like not morally the correct thing to do, like then I don't know. Maybe maybe you deserve death. I don't know. Is that is that bad? Uh, no. Like, I mean, I, and you know, you could. It's not confirmed, but it's possible that some of the ones parading around with his body were also the ones that were firing the crossbows from mm, above. That's fair. Because, like, like, yeah, but, like, to partake in that, I don't know. To partake in that, you that's just morally wrong. You don't do that. Uh, so, like, you can, I'll, like, ultimately, I can't blame the entire army for the actions of the, the like, the commander, you know? Uh, but the ones who are partaking in the celebration and the disgusting acts deserve blame, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was just tough. Um, it was a given, but I'm glad uh, Clegane uh, like stepped in to help her out. <laughs> yeah. He's just going to watch her die. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you pr pretty much have to at that point. Granted, I don't think she acted with that intention, but like, you know, he was going to step in there. Ah, uh, but I wonder what he does now. Because his, his whole thought was get Arya back uh, to her brother and mother and he gets rewarded. Where he goes now? I have no idea. But he knows it's not right to just kind of abandon her. Uh, which I respect. He still remains one of the goats. Goats up there with Sir Davos. Uh, what else? Bolton and his shit son, Ramsay. Um, both also need to die. Uh, Ramsay is... It, it finally coming to light this episode. Like the actions of the like the, the entire season mm -hmm. with Theon and his him basically getting tortured for half a season. Because that I goes back to season two. Because True. you were wondering what happened with like the horn blowing outside of Winterfell mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all that, like getting um Theon's men to turn on him and then Ramsey ending up taking Theon mm. and uh torturing him. Yeah, that's, uh, it's, it's really cool that Yara is not like her father, who is a piece of shit. 
and doesn't doesn't give a rat's ass about uh theon and is just sending is like it, it she's putting together a, a, an army to go rescue his ass that's really cool um i need that to happen i don't know how theon is gonna piss i don't know how that works how that heals up anyway did i talk about this before did we talk yeah. about this before yeah i think okay. you did um in the previous okay. episode what's funny though is that um you you did like know that part where Ramsey shakes the sausage. Yeah, and I remember you sent me the uh, yeah like a gif of it on Twitter. I can probably go to my messages with Blake. Uh, <laughs> Dude, do you know how far up you need to scroll? <laughs> no, well, the, okay, I'm not gonna find the message with you mm -hmm. because we like message so much. Oh, but okay. I might be able to find it with Blake. I found it already. <laughs> Put that shit on screen. You, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You said Sasuke. And then Igly sent the the Ramsey gif. <laughs> and Corey said, when Igly sends you a gif that he doesn't know the context behind. And I said, just wait for the first time he sees Ramsey. Oh my God. <laughs> and Honestly, I sent another gif. I, it, and I quoted, th th this is what you're going to say. I quoted you in all caps. Hey, I know that guy. He's the guy with the sausage. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll yeah, send a picture. Oh. Um, this is right, the I'll, end of I'll, August. I'll, share, I'll share my screen real quick for you. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, if I like, I don't know what I where I thought that gift was from. I guess I kind of thought it was from Lord of the Rings, like the Hobbit movies, because like that's like the 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 potato quote. You know what I'm talking about? Potato quote? No, I don't think so. I guess I guess none of us have seen Lord of the Rings. I have or Hobbit. Okay, okay. Okay, the hobbits are like the uh, never mind. Uh, um, but I thought of I thought it was from like Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit movies, because you know it's a, it's a guy just dangling a sausage. Uh anyway, that's that's cool. I get to know the context of that. <laughs> um, him just kind of like continuing to torture Theon after cutting off his cock, and then proceeded to send that cock to to Balon in a nice little box. That's amazing. Um, he's a he, he's a piece of shit, but he knows how to get under your skin. Literally. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know if you under like, under your foreskin. On this, but the bolt. Ha, have you noticed the Bolton's sigil for their house? No. Uh, so it. I mean, I I won't even. Tell you if you don't want me to, you can just look out for it from now on. I'll look out for it. I'll look. For, I'll look out for it. Okay. But Yar is a real one for going after him. Uh honestly, when we saw Balon for like a second, I thought I was like, I thought I was Walter well Frey again. They both look like pieces of shit. Um. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's not fair. That's not fair to say that actors. Um. Well, they they're play good their at, characters. They're well. good at playing like yeah. old yeah. bitter characters, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh both good at playing terrible people. Um <sighs> Shay is is also a real one. Uh I mm -hmm. the, the conversation between her and Varys was really interesting. Um telling her like telling her to leave for like I get Essentially, both her and Tyrion's benefit, because if she continues to stay, the road ahead of, of, the, of the two of them are is going to be difficult to continue. Uh, and if I uh, like, and him also saying that Tyrion is one of the few good people in Westeros is is really cool to see. I mean, we already know his feeling towards him. His, his appreciate appreciation but that, the fact that he has like visions of Tyrion being uh reaching a grander sta stature than he already is um or a position of power potentially one day leading the realm that is really cool to see uh i don't know i don't know maybe if it, maybe if the right people die maybe it, if the right people die Tyrion sits on the throne <laughs> you know uh but we we just need a few or multiple deaths for that to happen uh, season four, maybe. Uh, oh yeah, 
Joffrey continues to be a bigger piece of shit in every episode. Uh, feeding Rob's head to her at her wedding. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That boy ain't right. I don't know what Cersei did. Put him in his place. Yeah. Fighting a war for you. Or winning a war for uh, for you. I think Cersei's... I didn't really take notes of this part, but it, it's just kind of... And now coming to mind, I think Cersei's interest, like, uh... Discussion. Like, of uh, Joffrey. Of, like... Um, him being a good child, a sweet child, is an interesting topic. Talking like, cause like, we're like essentially bringing up the idea that where did things go wrong for for Joffrey? When did he become like this? You know, mm. uh, having an en- entitled upbringing. Did she baby him too much? I don't know the exact cause, but like as much of a as terrible as Joffrey is. Like, I guess this just goes in, like, to just general, like, anyone, like, terrible people at one stage of their life, they're, they're a child, they're innocent. So, you're like, where did things go wrong? Um, and also just her discussion of, like, her kids being, like, the only thing that kept her going, uh, preventing her from killing herself, uh, is, I mean... It's 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 a dark thought, but like one that I can appreciate a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh it's just an inter- it's 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 an interesting viewpoint. Uh I don't know where I'm going with that, really. But in her like proceeding to tell Tyrion to put a child in San- Sansa for that like to in- essentially be her happiness is weird as well but like i guess she means well by it because she knows the from experience she knows like the path forward for sansa is also going to be hell uh so no i know i know i don't like cersei but still she offers a unique perspective yeah honestly a perspective only she can like like give because there's no one else really like her in the show (coughs) sorry okay just you need more throat coat i need more throat coat (laughs) get get, make some more throat coat after this no i need Uh, to pop my nyquil okay and get some more throat throat coat and more throat uh some more throat coat yeah um it was also really interesting I don't know how long this post discussion has been. Uh, this is season finale. It's yeah, it's a season finale. We can, I can cook. Uh, that Wilder Frey is such a uh, is such a weasel. He he would <laughs> he wouldn't have done this if he didn't have the 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 Lannister backing. If he didn't have Tywin's backing, of course he would never he would never had the ball to do balls to do this. He pr- God, oh, I can't um, wait also, until he does. There, there's like little things that like me or Blake would notice that I don't think you'd really pick up on. But um bat you remember when Jamie and Brienne were leaving after he saved her from the bear. And uh mm-hmm. I think Jamie tells Roos Bolton, um, you know, send my regards to the Starks. The Tywin, yeah. And that's why oh. uh Roos said the Lannisters send their regards. Total scumbag. A lot, a lot of people on the shit list right now. Literally belongs beneath my foot. Yeah. Samuel found Brand this episode. Baron's group. Give him so hook, hook the crew up with some hooked H- Hodor up with a dagger, mm-hmm. and hooked Mira up with some some arrow tips. I hope she has enough. Uh, it looked like she got like two or three. It'd be kind of awkward. She has to go keep, keep continue to pick them up and make them count <laughs> after. Yeah, you can't lose that. Uh, but that's sick. They have, they're, they're going into hell. So they definitely need it. Um, 
but yeah, like the him Samuel finally delivering the message. Uh, see, also seeing. Uh, that was his, his name starts in A. Amen. Amen Targaryen. A- A- is it Aegon? Aegon A- 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 Targaryen. The one at the Night's Watch. Yes. Okay. Seeing Aegon again after like last time we saw him was like season one. Right. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. Yeah, like this is the first time we've seen I'm, him. In, like, I'm wrong, season. Corey. You're right. It's Maester Aemon. Oh my god. Yeah, because Aegon's the big guy. Aegon the, the Conqueror. Yeah. But yeah, with the message being delivered to the realm about the uh, like uh, upcoming epidemic beyond the wall, it's going to be interesting to see how, I guess, all the the people in power react to it uh because the the the, the, the dynamic completely changes next season if this is becoming a major threat uh i'm surprised i expected this to become much sooner but i'm glad it didn't happen because we're kind we're, we're in the middle of a war and then boom you have this sh- shit to deal with now how is everyone going to react are they going to use this over i'm sorry uh ma- to screw over each other uh yes probably uh even though it's not a benefit to them if they all die they die but i of course no no doubt the lannisters are going to try to use this to may- maybe 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 stab stannis and get him out out of the picture as well uh but yeah Oh, Yigrid y- 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 delivering three shots to John. That was so sad, man. That was so sad. I guess with where John was headed, I didn't know initially what he was referring to by saying he needs to go home. Part of me was wondering he was, if he meant Winterfell because he doesn't know the status of it, what's going on. Of course, last he heard, his brother was in a war. He doesn't, he has, he knows nothing. Jon Snow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure he was heading to Winterfell because he was, I mean, talking to Egret episodes ago about like showing her stuff there. And they already yeah. decided it was like just them two, you know, no, the Night's Watch doesn't really care for him. The uh, free folk don't really care for her in the grand scheme of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. But the horse, the horse being a Night's Watch, like a horse bred for the Night's Watch mm-hmm. and knew the way home. <laughs> Yeah. Or knew and didn't, knew the way back and just took him back to Night's Watch. So, not maybe not the best place to be with the upcoming uh, Army of the Dead. But hey, he's with his boys again. Um. So yeah, next season is going to be really interesting. I can't wait. Oh, I, there's a certain point in the episode. Why just stop writing notes? Because I was just pulled in. <laughs> I was just too engrossed. Uh, so I'm going to have to fill in some things av- uh, before I send these to you, Corey. But um, Jamie finally makes his return to King's Landing. And the first person he goes to see is Cersei. Amazing. I want him to find out that she's been effing Lancel. Because J- Jamie deserves better. He deserves better than Cersei. But we can't help who we love, is what he said. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he's definitely been on his redemption arc, but he mm-hmm. does have his dark past. But it, it's easy to root for him now because it's just been W we, after seen- W after W for his yeah. character. Yeah, so... That's actually really interesting. If he go, if he, if he's back home, if he's back like to his original status, I wonder, does he backpedal into being who he once was? Essentially, I mean, I'd like to think the journey he took to get here changed him. Uh, I don't know how much, but. I'm wondering if he'll be a different man 
and not the same person we saw in season one, essentially. Uh, maybe be kinder to his brother. Um, but yeah. Also going to be interesting to hear uh, see how uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see how he feels about Joffrey because I think uh, he, Joffrey's done a lot of stuff and time he's been gone. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how he's going to feel about his son's actions. There was a there was a line Joffrey said which was really weird. I I didn't know if I heard it right. He was like my dad killed I thought he said uh, uh or my father ki- I thought it, did his did he say my his father, father killed- won the real war. He killed. He killed. What, uh, what, whatever. Rhaegar. <laughs> Rhaegar. He he said Tywin was like hiding at Castle Rock, but that's not the real history, as we know from the histories and lore. Correct. Yeah, Tywin was much don't. more involved. Yeah. But him saying that is like. But it was Jamie who killed him. Well, Rhaegar is the Mad King, right? No. No? Who's Rhaegar? Uh, Rhaegar is the Rhaegar Mad King's Rhaegar was the son. prince. Ah, true. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now I'm remembering. For, for a second, I thought he said, my father killed the Mad King. And he was basically saying, like, Jamie's Jamie was his, his father. father at that point. That's, well, that's what I initially heard it as. But, okay, I, I misheard. I misheard. Um... But yeah, f- really fun season. Uh, fun and sad. Uh, if things continue to go south for the people I care about, I hope, I hope, I hope uh, Daenerys and her dragons just, just torch Westeros, or at least the people that deserve it. She's a great liberator. She's M- Misa. She's Misa, yeah. She's Misa. True. Um, That's my favorite part of this episode. Oh yeah, same. It's, it's, for, it's, for our for our favorite parts, it's the Misa part. Obviously, I mean that's still. I still call my mom Misa every day, so it it, it sticks with me. I can definitely see why. I can definitely imagine on a rewatch, it hits a lot harder. But it's like a it's a light at the end of the tunnel that is this season. Uh, after all the terrible stuff that's happened. Like after losing so many people, Daenerys is like, like while she's not the only person still like alive that's of, that's that we can consider good, she's a bastion of hope, uh, who was in a in a great position of power, and is continuing to gain more power as these seasons turn. So I don't know. Does she does she finally touch ground in Westeros next season? Is it time? Does she have enough people? She has ships. I guess. But I think she had, I think she had ships of horror, but now she has ships and army. We'll see. So I don't I don't know if she's going to continue just to liberate more of the free states, the free cities. Uh but it's de- it's definitely been fun. Maybe maybe wait for the dragons to get a little bit older so they don't get killed off by like uh Yigur and her bow. <laughs> yeah, she don't miss. She's she- yeah, she don't miss. <laughs> but yeah, very fun season. Uh, I cannot wait until next one. All right. All right. Got anything right. else, Corey? I'm good. All right. Well, until next season, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when that goes live. But if you don't want to wait, we have up to four week early access available right now on our Patreon account. Link that's in the description below. There's also a link to join our free Discord and a link to our social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Check all those out. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. I bet season four, episode three is going to be a banger. <laughs> <laughs>